But then there's this other category, which I like to think of as, you know, the volunteer fire department model of open source or the, you know, the federation of open source. So what is this? Well, if you are doing something with open source that benefits you, and I am doing something with that same open source that benefits me, and our interests are aligned, then we'll work on it together. Like we're going on an adventure, we're, we're in the same dungeon party because we're trying to do the same basic thing. And a Tiny Go is a great example. You know, Tiny Go is a Go compiler written in Go, licensed with the same BSD license that Go is on purpose because the idea is that nobody really owns Tiny Go and nobody really can. The idea is that you use Tiny Go to make something of value. You know, use it to build your business. Take Tiny Go, use it, make money, be successful, and contribute back. You know, put in time, put in money. You know, we haven't had as much of that, but you're what people are very welcome to hire a hybrid group to help them, or you know, we're probably gonna introduce some paid support offerings, not as an exclusive thing. I mean, I'd like to see a dozen consultancies that have consulting practices based specifically around TinyGo implementation, not just, mm. oh, come to hybrid group for these things, right? Because it's about letting a thousand flowers bloom. And it's also about, like, if you look at the people who actually work on TinyGo as their full-time activity, for example, there's some people at Fastly, Damian Grisky and Dan Kegel in particular, who, why are they doing that? Because Fastly's compute platform which is WebAssembly system interface, you know, running WebAssembly in the cloud, you know, it's, it's really a cornerstone of their technology platform that they charge customers for. So it's in their interest to put people to work on TinyGo mm -hmm. because it benefits them. We don't need a foundation. We don't need, it's more of a federation of like-minded interests. And it's a model that is a bit more sustainable only because let's say that tomorrow I decide I don't want to do Tiny Go anymore, which I want to keep doing Tiny Go, by the way. Or like I just decide that's it, delete all the repos. You know, it'd be the same as Open Tofu. You know, the internet is designed to route around blockages. Mm -hmm. You know, and no human institution lasts forever since they're made of people, right? No one's perfectly uncorruptible. Some people get tired, they have to retire you know, do something else, do a paid job, whatever, right? The purpose is to make it so that these things are not, you know, anti-fragile as possible so that they can withstand whatever changes occur and the core idea can keep moving on if it's of real value. But the only way to make this work is to be like the Wu-Tang Clan, you know, where each one of the members of the clan can go do their own recording signed to a different record label, get whatever deal they can to get paid. They don't have to go through this centralized hierarchy. Oh, everyone's got to, generally speaking, when if, like you and I had a band and we recorded and we would go to some, you know, record label. So we would sign our record deal. And, and then if we had a side band, we would have to sign with the same record label with that other band. We couldn't just go and do our own thing. Oh, no, no. No, no. Like if we just did the side project of just recording some music on a film, they would want a piece of that as well. You know, the Wu-Tang Clan's big innovation to the music industry in part was anybody who's in the crew can go and sign with whatever record label they want. You can bring in whatever guest artist you want. You can do whatever deal you want, do any deal you can. And this is sort of the same thinking that we have with the Tiny Go crew, you know, Anybody's free to go and take Tiny Go and use it to make something of value and to make money. And that's how it's able to be sustained is because then those same companies and people put time back into it. 